In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Verizon Wi-Fi Extender. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. All right, so step one, plug in the extender. So connect the extender to a power outlet near your Verizon router or internet gateway. Wait for the LED to turn solid yellow, indicating it's ready to pair. Step two, pair the extender. So we've got two different options, one wireless and one Ethernet. So for wireless, press and hold the WPS button here for on the extender for around three to five seconds. Then within two minutes, press the pair button on your Verizon router or gateway. The LEDs on both devices will blink due during pairing. Once paired, the extender's LED will turn solid white or blue, solid white or blink yellow. Option B is using the Ethernet pairing. So connect the extender into the router using an Ethernet cable and then plug the extender into a power outlet. Wait up to 10 minutes for the LED to turn solid white or blink yellow, indicating pairing is complete. Step three, position the extender. So unplug the extender and move it to a location between your router and the area with weak Wi-Fi coverage. Then plug in it into your power outlet, then observe the LED. So fast blinking yellow, move the extender further from the router. Slow blinking yellow, move it closer to the router. Solid white is optimal placement achieved. Now I've jotted down some LED indicator guide here. So solid white is normal operation, setup complete, blinking yellow, adjust placement for optimal signal, blinking blue is pairing in progress, solid yellow is ready to pair, blinking red pairing error occurred.